Morning. Today we're going to try and restore an old garden table. A friend of mine asked me if I could paint this old uh, rusty heap of shit. And of course I will, but we need to clean it up first. metal and very rusty I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna try a sandblaster I'm going to try a heat gun with a scraper and I'm gonna try wire brush first of all we'll take it apart clean it up paint it give him a call and hope that he's happy shall we do it okay let's go So some of this paint comes off quite easily, some of it stuck really bad, so I'm gonna try and get these legs off, probably get rid of the rivets, and then when we put them back together, we put it together with screws and Loctite, and then we're gonna try and scrape this and clean it up and paint it, and then we'll see how it goes. Ich mach jetzt erstmal nichts und dann warte ich ab, das ist Viertel vor gut. Jeder muss sehen, wo er bleibt, ich bleib zu Hause. That was pretty annoying work. Um, took about half an hour to get rid of the paint. I think now I'm gonna try the sandblaster to see if I can get rid of the, the rest of the rust and the turquoise that I couldn't get to with the heat gun. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, no, I'm gonna do the other side too. That was fucking boring. Let's take it outside and see if we can have some fun with it. Sandblaster time. Jetzt bist du frei, alles zu tun. Das ist Viertel vor gut. And just as with most things uh, around this workshop, no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You wait till we start welding. That's gonna be the interesting one. Fuck, that's cool. <laughs> Check it out. your mind wanders. That's only natural. The state of boredom is one where your attention is not focused on anything in particular. Researchers have shown this mind wandering is useful for creativity. Okay, the sandblasting is fun, but I think my compressor might not be quite big enough. It doesn't refill quick enough. And also I realized I'm pretty much out of sand. But on the upside is, I realized also that I don't need to take all the paint off. I need to take the bad paint off and then I need to smooth out the spots where the rest is. So now we're getting out the sander instead. When you Okay, so after a bit of sandblasting, uh, random orbital sanding, grinding, wire brushing, quite a nice result. I quite like it as it is. If it was mine, I'd probably just oil that to protect it from rusting more. And you see like that. However, Stefan, who is giving me this job, 
once it's painted. So it's all about the compressor today. Now we're going to paint it, spray it, which is always exciting. Let's go. So the second layer of spray paint this morning. Some weird thing happened when the rust came through, so I had to paint it once more. I hope it's gonna dry in time because Stefan is coming in a couple of hours to pick it up. I need this to dry and then I need to varnish it again so the paint doesn't scratch so easily. And we need to reassemble it and then it should be done. Let's have a look. So we're done. I've uh, painted them, I've uh, varnished them. It should be okay now, I would imagine. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty neat. All I gotta do now is screw it back together and then uh, Stefan will be here in a moment and then I'll give it to him and he can take it with him home. That was quite interesting for me. I don't really work with metal that much, so there's a few things I learned. How to handle the metal before you can paint it, putting primer on and what kind of paint to use. I didn't have much choice here because the customer actually delivered the paint with it, which was a water-soluble wall paint. It doesn't stick very well to metals, so I had to figure that out. But other than that, it was quite fun. That's it for this time. Now I'm gonna go back to make some cutting boards. Stay safe, be creative, catch you soon. Sometimes you just have to leave the best things to last. That is the cream of the crop, the little cherry on top of the whipped cream. I am sure you know what I'm talking about. Down below here is the list of the guilty parties, the guys who support this channel. Thank you so much. Yep, uh, Todd Designs, Magnus, Emil and Simon. You guys all rock. If you would like to join the list of supporters, please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Madness. Thank you and good night.